All right, hello, how is everybody doing? Why is this a square? Okay, there we go, I'm not used to that. Okay, that's interesting. Anyways, let me open this up. Oh, excuse me, whoo! This is gonna be a fun video. Um, I'm drinking LaCroix, so I burped. Um, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do something really interesting. We're going to be uh, figuring out how to how do I make this small again? <laughs> How to listen to NFT mints. Basically, someone in the Alchemy Discord, shout out to the Alchemy Discord. If you are not in it already, go to alchemy.com slash discord to join. But someone in the Discord was asking me, how do we listen to NFT mints? Basically, there are projects that I want to track, and I want to get the NFT mint event pushed to me, to my script. How do I do that with Alchemy APIs? And I realized I didn't know that how to do that either, but I found this subscription API, and it's really awesome. Basically, uh, you can check out the documentation for yourself. There are a bunch of different events you can t uh, subscribe to, but the one that we want is log logs because logs is where we're going to be able to find the mint event logs, the transfer logs that are, uh, you know, signal that there's an NFT mint. So th I figured out, okay, if I can use this and I found the contract that I want, and this is a test contract that I was testing with, but you could have your contract, you know, it's like, it's not, it can't be Board API Club, for example, because it's all minted out. But you know, a project that you worked on that is currently minting, whatever. Excuse me. Um, then you can take that address, you can take the event types and stuff that you're looking for. You can uh, use this API, and then you can track it. So that's what I figured out. Now, in this documentation, which I will put in the video below, so make sure that if you want to see this, then you are um, looking in the description box. Sorry, brain fart. Um, then, uh, yeah, so in here we have all the code, all the steps, everything. I'm just gonna walk you through it. So the first thing is first, which is go to your Alchemy dashboard. If you don't already have an Alchemy account, then go to the link in the video description below and sign up for an account. Um, and then you're gonna create a new application. So click this create app button and we're gonna call this Mint Subscription. Uh, this is an app to listen to Mint Transactions. For, for whatever, mint transactions, okay? And then make sure you pick the right chain. So this contract is on the RinkB test network on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. So we're gonna click chain, Ethereum, network, RinkB, and then click create app. That's gonna create a new row down here, mint subscription, and then you're gonna be able to view your API key like that. Uh, and this top one is the one we want. So you can also click into here, and then of course, you'll be able to see your dashboard. Now, uh, the next thing you wanna do is start a project. So I'm actually, I was testing already, so let's um, RMRF mint subscriptions, and then let us make dir. Um, let me clear this so you can see it more easily. We're gonna create the mint subscriptions repository. Um, and this is just so that you can put your dependencies and your script file and everything just to keep it organized. So however you want to organize it, that's totally fine. I'm going to CD into that. And then we're going to install, uh, you can do yarn or NPM, depending on whatever, whatever package manager you like. So NPM install at Alchemy, uh, Alchemy Web3. Now, Alchemy Web3 is a JavaScript SDK. It's basically a library that makes it easy for you to do blockchain stuff. And it has a bunch of superpowers in it, baked into it already, including automatic retries when you get rate limited due to API or whatever. And uh, also really robust web sockets, which is what subscription API is built on top of. Uh, hence, subscription API web sockets. Uh, really robust web sockets where if the network is slow or you, you get a packet dropped or whatever, uh, the information that you're looking for will still get pushed through. We'll make sure of it. And that's because you're using power of Alchemy Web 3. Um, and if you wanted to learn more about it, you can look at the GitHub repo or you can look at this NPM package. You can see some documentation in here. Robust web socket subscriptions, automatically retries on rate limited requests, easy access to Alchemy's higher level APIs. It's amazing, so try it out. Um, so back in here, we have, you can check it out, we have our dependency installed. Um, cat package JSON and then boom, you can see Alchemy Web3. Now I am going to open this up in my code editor. So that's my shortcut that I've set up for VS Code. It's gonna open this up. Um, oh, again, I have this already uh, was testing, so that's why you see all of this stuff. So let's close all of that. Now, what I want to do is create a new file, and we're gonna call this mint.js. This is our script file. So this is where we're, I'm gonna show you the code. You can actually copy and paste it yourself from the docs. Um, this is the script that we're gonna modify just a little bit with our API key. I'm gonna stop talking and just do it. Uh, let's close that, go back here. Go back, go back down here, 
write the script and run it. We're gonna copy all of this and then I'll walk you through it. Uh, go back here, boom. Um, so this script is what will allow you to set up a, a WebSocket and then start doing stuff with the events that you get back. Um, so right here, we're loading the Alchemy Web 3, um, create Alchemy Web 3 constructor. And then this is where you wanna paste in your API key. So let's delete that and then go back here and click view key and then you'll get your API key. So copy that and then paste that in right here. Save that. And then over here, we've already set up the filters for you. So mint topic for transfer event. Um, this is where it comes from. Back into our hacker DAO or Web3 Hackers Hacker NFT project that I um, am going to be testing with in this video. You can see that these are all mint transactions. These are where people um, were calling mint function and then they were minting the NFT. And so if you click into one of these transactions, you'll notice that there's actually a log tab and this is the event log that was emitted from this transaction. And mints always if you're if they're following the erc721 standard you know that's the assumption always you're following the standard um then they will be emitting this transfer event with the uh with these three arguments from address to uh, to address and then the token id so the way the log topics work is that this is a hash of the function signature this is the uh, uh, null address because when you're minting, it doesn't come from anyone in particular, it just comes from thin air. So that's why it's from the null address. And then this is whoever had minted it. So what we wanna listen to is all transfer events that came from the zero null address. Those are mints. So that's why in this code we have mint topic, uh, which is the transfer, transfer event topic. And then we also have the zero address topic. And then this NFT contract address, you should switch out for whichever contract you want to track. So right here, um, as I was saying, our contract is 0xbd3, which is what I have already put into here. So switch that out for your contract. And then here we're opening up the WebSocket with our API key. Here we're putting those uh, the, con the NFT contract address and the topics into our log options object. And then this right here, we're gonna skip line 30 and 31 real quick. Line 33 and 34, this is where we open up that Web3, uh, that, that subscription WebSocket. And in particular, we wanna open it for log events with these filters. And then every time we receive data back, which is gonna be information about this transaction, do something with that transaction. And this is where I've stubbed it out for you. If you want to uh, you know, send uh, information to a webhook, a Discord webhook, a Slack webhook, you know, use the Twitter API to, to tweet about this mint event or whatever, you can do that right here. The world's your oyster. So right now we're just gonna console.log it. I'll show you what that looks like. So uh, let's just make sure that is, this is all saved. We're gonna open up a terminal, new terminal, and uh, this is just a nice thing about VS Code. You can open up a terminal. Terminal, it's already in your repo. And what we're going to do is we're going to run the script. So since this is JavaScript, I'm just going to use Node. Uh, it is mint.js, and you'll see here. Oh, let me let me close this real quick. Just something for good ergonomics is to console dot log um, opening subscription for mint events. And then that way when we uh, rerun the script, I'm gonna clear that, rerun the script, you can see opening subscription for mint events, and then it's hanging right here because we're now open the WebSocket and we're waiting for mint events. So we can actually simulate mint events by going back here to our contract. And then because I verified it on Etherscan, I can actually just interact directly with the contract on the Etherscan API or the Etherscan UI. So let's connect to the Etherscan um, situation with my metamask wallet and then that is connected but i do want to switch actually i think this is the wrong wallet uh i want to connect to 0x e3c so this is another one of my wallets let's click on metamask and then connect here and then um let's uh i think we i might need to refresh that connect to web3 okay and then there we go, that's the right wallet. So now we have access to the mint write function. So we open that and then we're gonna write, and then this is where we're gonna mint, right? So, um, oh yeah, so I have rinkb eth already, obviously. Um, but if you don't, then you can go to rinkbfaucet.com and then if you sign in with Alchemy, you can get 0.5 ETH um, you know, in your wallet sent to you. So you can see I did this earlier, 44 minutes ago. Super easy to use, do that. Now, anyways, let me go back here and actually accept the mint transaction this time. Uh, you can see you don't really need much ring PE to do stuff, so confirm. 
And then let's go back real quick. You can see here, we're gonna wait for this. As soon as the mint event hits the blockchain, it gets mined, Alchemy's gonna see it and Alchemy's gonna say, hey, uh, you wanted this event and too late for the drum roll, but boom, we got the event and here it is. Here's the address of the contract. Here was the to the topics of the entire log event, the transfer event. You know, it was from this address, it was to this address, and this is my address, and then all this other information about the transaction. So then you can use other APIs if you wanted to to translate this into uh, image assets or you know how much money was transferred or like all this stuff. Um, but this is just like the bare bones, like how do you hook it up to begin with? So. Um, that is pretty much it. You know, this script is uh, is going to be in the documentation that I link. So you know, feel free to go wild and try that. And uh, yeah, I hope that's useful. I hope you know. Let me know in the comments below if that's useful or not. If there are other events that you want me to show you how to track, or like, or hey, like if you want me to show you how to write that webhook afterwards, then let me know. Um, and then one last question before you go: Do you like the format of these videos where I've been trying to experiment with different things, like? increase the production quality by using a DSLR camera. Um, and then I'm trying out different mics. You know, sometimes I'm filming, filming from different places, so I have different sets of equipment. But let me know if you care about that. And if you don't care about that, also let me know, like, do you want me to just hide my face even and just show you the code, stop talking so much? Or, you know, do you enjoy, you know, some more of the context that I share, the higher production quality, this kind of stuff? Um, let me know, let me know. Cool, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. And girls and everybody who's watching this, thank you so much for watching this. Hope this was useful. Bye-bye.